about. Ah, uh, just laying back now. <laughs> well, no, you want to hear this. So, oh. more Analog Pocket pre-orders have been announced. So, mm. this is how you can give yourself a fighting chance for scoring one of these. I'll give my little tips and tricks for people. Okay, okay. To give I've got you my browser open. Give you the edge. Stuff everyone else. Everyone else can wait years for the, for the Analog Pockets to go. So, uh, Analog Pockets are starting to ship like from when we're recording this, basically tomorrow, they'll start shipping mm-hmm. around the world. Uh, the pre-orders will start 8 a.m. December 14th Pacific time, which is for Australia, 3 a.m. December 15th. Is that uh, Wednesday or Thursday, Sweeney? Wednesday. Um, Wednesday. Yeah. So I'm going to put an alarm. So that's so 3 morning. December 15th. So okay. Tuesday night, <laughs> you have to wake up the next day, Tuesday, Wednesday morning. Tuesday okay. Night. Uh, they have increased the price by 20 US dollars to 220 US dollars. And they've quoted that it's due to component price increases, which seems extremely reasonable. Accessories will remain the same. And then quote, it is our goal for everyone who wants a pocket to be able to secure an order to accomplish this in the context of the global pandemic, we are implementing a fulfillment protocol End quote. So I look at this and go, people, this is all the stuff that they wanted Analog to do, give people enough notice of when, you know, the thing's going to come up for pre-order and then basically have an open, you know, pre-order system. Mm. Now, the way it's going to work is depending on when you get your order in, they get to ship it at different times. And it's like a huge difference. And my guess is, this is my speculation that, you know, I'm probably on the internet, the biggest expert in this space, not, but <laughs> I actually followed the subreddit, so I shouldn't say that, but, um, group A is Q1 2022 and then group B is Q4 2022 and group C is 2023, Oosh. right? What I believe Damn. has happened here is analog have a policy. If you email them and say, Hey, I want all my money back. Cause when you order, you have to pay full amount, right? But they're very good about, like, if you ever go, hey, I don't want this, they just give you the money back, like, within a few days, right? Nice. What I believe has happened here is that Group A are all the people who have cancelled their analog pocket orders from, uh. like, you got to remember, like, I ordered it, like, when was it? A year ago or, like, 15 months ago. It was mm. ages ago when I ordered it, right? It was October last year, from memory, right, when I ordered the analog pocket. So a year ago. So... A lot of people, I believe, would have cancelled it. So I believe that that's what these Q1 2022 orders are. And therefore, it won't be very many. Like, I mm. would expect there's like hundred-ish, hundreds max mm. of those. Okay. So realistically, I think everyone, if you are ordering, the best you're going to do is like Q4 2022, if you follow my tips. Oh, 2023 wait. otherwise. So my tips, and this is like, this is where Swinney is like, sorry, Swinney, you don't cover your ears. The most effective way to order anything analog quickly is to use Apple Pay. So it's okay. actually much faster to log in using Safari. I don't use Safari as my default driver <clears throat> uh, when I use my iPhone, but in this instance, jump on Safari, make sure you have filled in everything like form fill, like your name, all this other kind of stuff in, analog- in Apple Pay properly. And what you'll find is as soon as you go on the store, click on like the analog pocket, bang, press it you hit Apple Pay, it will like basically instantly order it for you. Hmm. And like okay. following the threads and everyone on the forums, the Discord, the subreddit, it seemed like anyone who did Apple Pay dominated it last time and got it like almost guaranteed. So, you know, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, I'd highly recommend going down that route. Um, the other part is like for sure have like your iPhone set up and then also your computer. Like have two options that you, you can have running. And again, like make sure you have all the form stuff filled out, get all that stuff going. I think that's the best way you can do it. And if you do not order it straight away, it will get like, you'll be in 2023 for sure. Mm-hmm. If you don't like wake up at 3 a.m., there's no way you'll get it in 2022. If you so, wake up at 3 a.m., you're not going to get it until 2023. You got to wake up at 2.30-ish. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean by that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Um, And then also just the last thing I'll say and throw to you, Swinney, that um, if you do order it and it comes back and it says, okay, you're in group C 2023, you can say, hey, I want to cancel it and get the money back. So eh, why would you just wait? Yeah. But I'm just saying for people who go, oh, you know what? That's too long to have 220 bucks tied up for ages. Yeah, but inflation, man. Freaking inflation. (laughs) 220 bucks, especially in the US, is going to be like 500 bucks by then. 
my two analog pockets that should be on the way shortly with a billion Greedy accessories. Son that of are coming. A... Hey, I'm gonna play it with my kid. So you know, I've <laughs> waited so long, he's now old All enough right. to play it. <laughs> All right. So, but yeah, Sweeney, uh, what were you gonna say? So my question is, if you don't bother waking up 3 a.m., you just like next day, okay, I want to go put put the order in. Will do you think it will still be there and you'll just jump and fall in group C? Yep. Twenty thirty. All right, then that's cool with me because I want one of these. I definitely want an analog pocket. I just don't want to have to work for it. Yeah, like I, I get find it. that. Oh, okay. I find that. I understand that's the way things work, right? I just mm. find it ridiculous as a consumer that you have to kind of go to these lengths to purchase the product. Yeah. So I'm cool if I don't get mine till twenty twenty three because I'm not in a rush. Like I've got the thing is my Game Boy that's up on the shelf there. Unfortunately, doesn't work anymore. I've got all my old Game Boy Advance and my old Game mm. Boy games that I can't play. Um, but I'm not in a rush to play them. Obviously, so, I haven't been. Otherwise, I probably would have been like, oh, I need a Game Boy. So, the question, you don't want to work for this. How many days does it take to get Centrelink approved? If you were to quit your job right now, go on Centrelink, so they can give you the money, which we you should... can then use to buy the, the analog pocket. <laughs> Would we we should say also because most of our audience is not Australian. Centrelink is oh, yeah. our Sorry, social security. A, it's our social security. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, guess I still we don't understand that. Uh, you I'm are, saying, you well, are, the idea is that you don't want to pay for question. it. If you don't want to pay for it, then I think you should. He doesn't want to work. Right he doesn't want to have to be there. To work for it. Wake up and like. But you're gonna work for it anyway because you got to go to your job so you can earn the money to be able to go pay for it. I'm ignoring Mike's question to just say another point now. Yeah. Thank you for that question, Mike. No. Yeah. Move on. Okay. I the di- I made an exception for the um, analog NT because super NT, yeah. super NT sorry because I was worried that they would never do release another batch and I don't know if they will man yeah so and I'm like okay this is this might be the last chance mm. whereas I I had confidence that there would be at some point more analog pockets you know so I'm like well maybe i was wrong to assume that but obviously they are releasing some so i'm mm. cool i'm cool if they're like okay it's not well, really 2023 then I'm now fine. you're making me yeah. nervous that i've said like <laughs> that yeah you could just jump in on the moon no and the thing is play. right and if i miss I out, I, miss yeah, out be but I just it's kind of like part of me it's like man I, and it's the same concert tickets and stuff i just i don't want to do something to that level, but it, it's mm. fine if anyone does. You know, it's just me personally. But this is this is awesome that they're releasing more ones. Yeah. So my question for Mike. Yo. What's the first Game Boy game or Game Boy Advance game well, you're gonna play on in your pocket? Just because mm. I've got like the information, can I say it? It's winning. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah just quickly, because like they have. I've read articles with him, Chris uh, Tabor, right? Who's the CEO, and he has said that he want he he doesn't look at it as a limited product. Like he does want to make more. And in the tweet that they posted, it says, our goal is for everyone who wants a pocket to be able to secure an order. So mm. like, I kind of take that is surely they couldn't sell out in an hour. That would just like make people ballistic if they did mm. that when they're saying we want everyone. Now, maybe that's a 24 hour window. Maybe that's like a 48 hour window. You know what I mean, Swinny? Yeah. Because they've done that before as well. They did that with the NT Noir for memory. They sort of said, if you want one, order it and then we'll make them to like however many are ordered. And I think they closed it after 24 hours. They didn't tell anyone they were going to do that, but that's the way I'd look at it, Swinney. But yeah, sorry, going back to the first Game Boy game, Mike? Uh, it was just it was a bit of an asshole question to Mike. I'm oh, wondering okay. what Game Boy or Game Boy Advance games he would play on his new analog box that he's apparently uh, going to get. Well, I will get it. I will get it. I don't know what else. Can play. you follow my tips and see if you get into the first group? Yeah, I'll follow your tips. I've do you know put... what? I'll be pissed Oops. if that happens. I'll be but super I... pissed if... You go on your iPhone in December, mid-December. Mm. I've waited for a fucking year for this thing. And then you get your shipped, like, maybe three weeks after mine. <laughs> that fucking pissed me off, man. Could happen. I put really an alarm on my phone, so we'll, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. follow my tip. Follow my tip. Like, Apple Tips. Pay is the goal. Is the goal. And just start. the last thing before we move on is that the Duo, so this is the um, PC Engine Turbo Graphics clone console, their site still says that it's due in 2021, but it hasn't come up for order yet. So I don't know if they've just forgotten about it or they're just like so worried about the pocket. They haven't mentioned anything. So I thought that was really bizarre. All right. That's the end of the news. And we will.